You know, this shift wouldn't be half as bad if the sun was actually up when I got into work. I don't even get to see the sunrise. I mean, I get to see it through the television, but not in person. That would be nicer. One covers New Hampshire like we do. Now, WNUR News 9 this morning. Well, they've tested heads. Everything is all set to go. I'm on prompter again this morning. So let's play a game called... Let's try to find the oldest thing in this control room. Here's a good start, an award from 2010. Here we go. A mouse pad for the year 2000. I think this one might win though. This is from 1996. It's still taped to the wall. Ah. There's the sun. My message has been sent. I just applied for a job, which is the thing that I wanted to get done today. So, bam! Another thing done. I'm currently on the UMass Lowell campus again, playing some humans versus zombies. I, I realized that I didn't actually explain yesterday what HVZ stood for. It stands for Humans vs. Zombies, which is a game that goes on on this campus uh, once every semester. Hey Isaac, how does Humans vs. Zombies work? How does it work? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, hmm. basically, we pick one person to be zombie, and that one person is disguised as a human like everyone else, and they try to tag other humans who are also wearing armbands. They tag someone, they join the zombie team, and the zombie team grows bigger and bigger and bigger until there's no humans left, or until humans complete the final mission and win. Cool. And they use cool nerf blasters and other cool upgrades like this, which is like a tentacle mutation that they, I don't know what they, this thing is, but <laughs> you like can tag them with the tentacle. Zombies are trying to find little miniature dinosaurs and one of our NPCs is dressed up as Chris Pratt from Jurassic Park. And they're basically like in Jurassic World. There's actually one right under here. Right. Did I just see you? I just got back from the mission and uh, ooh, it was a little bit rough. It can be tough to organize these kinds of games. I think everyone still had fun though. Like I had a lot of fun. My friend, the one you saw earlier, he's the guy who's like running the entire game this semester. I think he's being a little hard on himself. The question for today is, what is something positive about being trans? And it's totally that I get to make all these freaking cool friends. I was actually talking about this earlier today, like being queer and having friends that are queer is freaking awesome. Anyway, that's it for this video blog. It is 9.49 p.m. right now. I'm gonna try to edit this real quick and get it out to you before midnight. Let's see if I can do it. Bye!